Hi everyone. So today in this session, let's discuss about Spring Boot logging. You know the importance of logging message in this applications, right? Yes, logger message playing a important role to understand the behavior and the performance of the application. Suppose in your applications, some error happened, some issue happened. How you will know that? So the, your logger message will help you to understand that to debug your application. Spring Boot offers and a flexible way of adding logger framework. In Java, we are having multiple logger framework like log4j, logbag, log. So multiple logger framework provided by Java. SLF4j is a log by default included in the Spring Boot applications. If you use that SLF4j framework, logger framework into the Spring Boot applications, you no need to add any dependency. It is a by default logging framework. SLF4j, simple logging facet for Java. Okay. I will create a POC for that. I will create a simple Spring Boot applications and in that, I will implement logging in this tutorial, in this video today. You please have patience. You spend just 10 to 15 minutes time. You can understand. You know, a logger message, you can print in a console. You can print in a logger file. Otherwise, you can send a notification by email. And otherwise, you can send to the Splunk log. I will show you some multiple ways how to do that in these sessions okay if you are new to the channel please subscribe this channel and if any doubt please like and comment okay if if you have any doubt you comment okay otherwise anyone can like the videos and uh, can comment what is your opinion on this okay let's discuss on this okay so here there is a simple applications these applications you see we are having a controller model repository service layer and this application is actually connecting to a MongoDB. Okay. If you will see the properties file, it is connecting to a MongoDB. So the MongoDB, the MongoDB detail I provided, the database name is dev and the port number, MongoDB port and host. This is the application 8085. Okay. This is the application's port. You see, this is my MongoDB. So I am connecting to a database called dev this is the dev database and here we are having a collection or table called user there is two user user one and user two so this information i'm just printing i'm just fetching this information by connecting that db so dev db so if you'll see the model is user collections okay we are having two properties user id and username and i wrote a controller class a method get all users if you will hit, if you will run this application, let's run this application, okay. If you hit this path, all users, okay. 8085 is the port, okay. So, let me go to browser and I will say localhost 8080. 8085, all users. It is printing 101 and 102. This is a simple application. In these applications, I will implement logger. So to implement the logger, let's say I will implement in this controller class. So for that, what we need to do? You need to create a logger variable. So logger, you can say like this. Logger, logger equal to logger factory dot get logger. And you can provide this class name. class wherever you are providing the logger you need to create a variable and you see this log for slf4j is the you can you can import this slf4j okay and by using this logger variable you can add a message suppose i will say logger dot info and i will say say information something like that I will say 
okay so now what i will do i will restart the applications and you observe i restarted and if i will hit once it will show that message see as many times i will hit that many times it will show this showing right now the info whatever i passed there it is showing now what i will do i will do here i will say debug and i will i will say it's a debug message I will restart and now I will hit you see as many times you will hit you are not able to see why because the default label configured by spring boot is info if you will add trace logger dot trace okay you see if you heat nothing is seen you see i'm just clearing the log and i'm trying to heat it nothing is printing why because each log message each logger message there is a label so by default info is added by spring boot so by default info added means info whatever info message info logger message you can see and warning you can see error you can see below that info you can see but debug and trace you cannot see if you wanted to see trace or debug you need to configure it if you configure trace then you can see trace debug info warning error everything you can see if you will configure debug then you cannot see trace so what is this trace stress means in detail which class which method which line everything it will show generally in production we are not using that trace debug means it is lesser than trace it will show in detail but less than trace info means it is less than debug warning means we can ignore some message it will give error means if any error will come so this is the log labels okay this is the log label detail okay so let's configure if you wanted to see you see here there is a trace message you wanted to see that okay so you add logger dot label okay dot I will say root equal to trace. Okay, if you will add like this, then restart. So what is happening? What is root? Root means throughout the applications. I am adding. Okay, this is the log logging, not logger. Logging dot label. logging dot label okay so i will restart so you see it is printing in the applications label all the debug info everything so if you will heat continuously it is printing in the applications label you we, we have configured in root label right if you will see here if will if will heat it is printing actually but we are not able to observe we can observe from here it is printing you see so now what i will do instead of instead of adding in the root label i will add my package my so my package is com dot 
नारेन डॉट जावा कॉम डॉट नारेन डॉट जावा डॉट डेमो ओके सो नाउ इफ विल रिस्टार्ट यू सी इट विल नॉट इंक्लूड ऑल द रूट लेबल वी हिट इट इट्स ए स्ट्रेस मेसेज यू आर एबल टू सी आर नॉट सो अदर देन स्ट्रेस इफ यू एड एनीथिंग लाइक आई विल से लॉगर डॉट एर एर हेपेंड In real, it did not happen. For example, I just given one example. Okay, so I will restart. So it will show this error label, stress label, any info, everything it will show. Anything. So stress label it will show, error label also it will show. I restarted. So now I will hit. You see, it is showing both are the things, right? Error label and info label. And you see, what is this line? the date and type what is the label and this is the process id this is the port number what is the controller everything showing so this part is called format this format also you can change this log format you can change to change the log format you need to add this line this property so this label it is showing first date then label then at last you see in this this is actually for time stamp okay this is the port port detail so you don't want to see that port detail you can remove that restart the application see now if we hit it if we we'll hit that you see it is not showing that port detail Stress and error is showing. The detail is not showing that eight zero eight zero part. You see, it is not showing. So you can customize this. This is called pattern. Okay. So generally in the console, how to print? You know. Suppose you wanted to print this log message in a log file. Okay. So for that, what you need to do? You need to write this property. Logging dot file dot name, okay, and you can decide which pattern he there you can print, okay. So logging dot file dot name you can provide app log dot log. You see there is no app log dot log. So now you restart the applications, okay. I have not saved. So you see now once you hit one file will be created. Let me refresh this. See app log dot log. It is created, and like this you can decide the pattern. You see this this log, it is created in that log file, right? It is inserted, and you can decide the pattern what you want. Suppose this log file will be lengthy, right? In the production level, if if in one log file you will put right each day anything will happen everything is tracking right so it is not a good things right so what we need to know what we need to do this log file will be actively generating multiple log files and once the log file will be delay right after few days it should be deleted right multiple log files or it will be archive like this some mechanism is there right to configure all these things okay suppose i want each 5 kb once the log file will become 5 kb so create a new file or archive it so once the log file is older than 20 days or 60 days you just delete that all this configuration doing in this properties level it is too difficult okay and also i wanted to i so i showed you right how to print the logs in the console and the log file right so suppose you wanted to send some of the logs as a notification to the emails to a particular email to the customer some of the customer yes we can configure that okay 
and there is a Splunk log. You wanted to send the logs to a Splunk log to manipulate, so do some other things. What is that Splunk log? You read it, okay? So some of the companies that Splunk log, Splunks they are using, okay? Splunk, okay? It is a framework, okay? So anyway, all these things to do that, you it will be this properties file. It will it, it will not help actually, okay? So what you need to do? You need to write. A XML file to configure that okay so I will upload this code you can search this XML file this code you can get it from the Google okay so you just I will upload this code in my github link you just download and start practicing okay otherwise you can get this this code uh, this file okay in the Google okay and you can modify as you need here what I did, you, here appender is there, three appender, this appender for file, what will be the file name, what is the file pattern, what is the size, okay, and what is the pattern, this is the file appender, and you see, this is, this is uh, email appender, SMTP appender, email, I have commented just now, because we need to provide the real email, all this detail and not, SMTP, and another things for console appender you see console appender where is that console appender yeah this is console appender okay so this is the pattern hour minute second millisecond like that you can decide so here what i did each file size will be 2kb once it will be more than 2kb it will be archived something you can configure or it will be a new file will be created what is the new file name like that you can do okay it will be archive once the archive file will be 10 kb it will be deleted otherwise uh, once the uh, file any file will be more than 60 days then it will be delete like this you can configure it's simple you can write some configuration okay and here you see i decided my where will the other package you see you can provide your application package or you can provide root okay so now let me restart okay so after restarting i will hit i will hit the application you see now i will refresh you see one folder created logs and app log is created okay so we wrote that the folder one folder will be created called logs okay that's what it happened so you see if you will continuously hit it okay the file once it will be uh, more than 2 kb it will be archived Will not reach to two kb. So, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. If you really got something for new videos, you please subscribe. Okay. And if you any doubt, please comment it. Okay. I will respond. Please like the video and comment your your opinion. The better way how we can do. It will be really motivate me to create some more videos for you. You see, it is archived. You can do like multiple files will be created. Like that, you can configure. It's easy only. So that's all about the Spring Boot logging. Okay. Let's meet in new video. Thank you so much.